Hello, beautiful bloodsuckers. This is Crimson, and you're watching some Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines. Now, I'll pick up where I left off while I was going somewhere I thought I knew where I was going, and I had no idea where this is, what's going on, but there's a card key and a headless man up there. Hello, bum. <laughs> Did you see it? No. He done tore him up, right in two, ripped him apart like a rag doll. Open to me the movie in your mind. These two guys, the dead guy, and other than where they showed up, I've been living here, so I hid. I thought maybe they was owners or, or cops come to clean the place out. Who was the homeboy of the headless one? A dead feller called him Muddy. Tell me of the dirty deeds of Muddy and his headless henchmen. Uh, they was waiting on someone. They were going to do some kind of job, they were saying. But the person they was meeting, well, he was late. So the one guy leaves to find the phone and call him, and the, and the dead guy stayed. Oh, that's when the killer, yeah, that's when he showed up. Ah, the shadow-cloaked killer stepped from his dark domain. One second he wasn't there, and then he was. Like out of the shadows he come up, scared the shit out of the dead guy. I liked to scream, but I couldn't breathe. What did the shadows reveal? Oh, that killer, he grew these claws. I swear it, I saw it. The dead guy went white like he seen the devil, and then the killer grabbed him round the neck and lifted him up and started cursing at the guy. What words from this dark devil? Oh, I couldn't hear too good. Something about revenge for what he did or what they did. The killer made sure the dead guy knew who he was and then ripped him open. It just tore him apart. He did it real slow and made the guy scream. This story will place you in a padded cell. Silence if you love your freedom. Okay, okay, I will. I don't want to never think about that again. I don't want never think about things too. Yay, more masquerade of I'm full. Can't get any more. Oh well, there's no headless guy. Um, I guess you're. I didn't even know. So um, can you tell me? Ow! Oh, uh, head. Oh, oh, whoops. Um, I'll, I'll save you. I'll save you, headless guy. Are you seeing what I'm seeing? Uh, I'm, I'm sorry, headless guy, but... No! Ah! Oh. Uh, Alright, it's fine. You know, Malkavians can't dunk, everyone knows that. Uh, hoop. Yeah! <laughs> I feel so bad about myself. <laughs> I'm gonna do it again. Yep. Nope. Nope. Gotta. Gotta. Is there a throw? Kind of. All right. Uh, three points. Ah, oh, rim shot. Go again. That wasn't even close. All right. Hell you. Now will you talk, punk? You gonna tell me who done you in? Who done did it? You see, you, you punk. I got nothing for a uh, headless. I don't. Know. Ah, uh, whatever, get out of here. I'm proud of myself. Again. Uh, I guess that's what I was supposed to do, and not run through fire. Lucky star room key. Uh, okay, quest lock. Carnival of death. Does revenge, claws, lucky star. I thought I was going back to Santa Monica. Instead, I get to play some dude's head. And help the masquerade with my persuasion. That I made be worth leveling again points use spots I need like points I have should spend things and this is just a bunch of bums is this where I, I, I'm trying to find the place where they were asking if I was enlightened which I somewhat am now which isn't where I hear the guy who told me about the crazy plague spreader guy was well, bums, I was on fire. It hurt, but you're not on fire. But you're in pain. But I'm solving the plague bringer thing, so you know you guys got that going for you, which is nice. Ah, uh, now if I could only remember where I go to get enlightened. Oh, hello, blood. Probably the cops, you know, shaking someone down again. Ah. Uh, one of these? That's when I see him at a door. So is it you? Which also is in a door. Well, this was a use of time. 
that was very effective at anything. And that was a teleporting spooky bum. Alright. I remember it being in an alley. Or is it around one of these? I already have this weapon knife. Alright. Aha! There we go, this looks more like it. There we go. I have been enlightened, sir. Please let me murder you all. What's up, sister? You enlightened? Hallelujah, brother. I see the light. I see. Welcome to the Brotherhood. The bishop will see you upstairs. I'm gonna murder you all, by the way. Are you okay with that? I'm okay with that. So, bishop? Brotherhood? Um, the guy up front? Oh, I can't mess with him. I'm looking for the bishop, excuse me. Hey, D did you get summoned? You're going up upstairs to see the bishop? Summoned? You're n new to the Brotherhood, huh? Just got enlightened? I, I've been here a few days. <laughs> when the bishop wants to see you, you'll be summoned. And then you go up these, um, these stairs, up to the, the t temple. Tell me of this torrid temple. I, I don't know. I mean, I, I hear things, but, but I haven't been summoned. I had a friend, snuck up there a few days ago, said she saw things, bad, bad things. Yeah. What vile visions? Blood. She said, um, b -b blood everywhere. She, um, she saw a few of the summoned to try to, uh, oh, to talk to them, but they just, just stared at her with these, um, these woo-blank looks, you know? No, one of them, uh, started reaching for her, and she, she ran away. Woo-blank looks. Um... You wear your fear like a shadowy veil. Yeah, yeah. I know. The b b bishop said we have to shed our um, our uh, our earthly fears on our journey to the to the ninth circle. But I'm I'm scared to go upstairs. I I just uh, I just I just want to go home. You know, I want to go home. Hmm. Oh, I got I got some fun options here. You shall worship with this warlock. Is is that that I I can't tell. I'm so Malkavian. Um, shed your fear. Death has come for the bishop and his brotherhood. Is that it? Anything else? Hello. Please, I I just I want to go home. Then go, go and stop standing there before I do something silly. And. That, that, that's my, my fallback here, because I've made those mistakes already for being a Malkavian. Just go with option one if you don't know. Action music? Oh. Are we fighting now? I have a wimpy gun. It's on. <laughs> ah, slow guy. Alright. It's gonna... Three shots. Everyone's doing ten. I wonder if it's locational damage. Oh, but his health gets more red as his health goes down. You, you notice that? Just notice that. It's awesome. It's so subtle. Whoa. Wouldn't make such a big difference. Yeah, Miss down there, I do not blame you for not wanting to spend some time with this guy. I missed. I've got so much ammo for this thing. And it's a revolver, so it's not gonna jam. I think game's a video game. Oh! Headshots do do extra damage. Whoop. Stop moving your head. This gun isn't very long barreled, so. It's not the most accurate thing in the world. There we go. Did I get that hit? Ooh, are you? Oh, can I? You're just gonna try to murder me, miss? Mrs. Multiple? Alright, well, I'd like to save you, but I guess that's not happening. Alright. Let's try to line up the center of your screen. Could try getting closer to compensate for the uh, bullet spread. 
But it seems like these bullets actually have trajectory. So where my gun is pointed affects the path it travels. Man, I wonder how many ways of approaching this encounter I had. Like, could I have snuck through it and, and achieved something out of that? Oop. And what is this hidden passage here? Uh, can I save anybody if I get there in a more timely fashion? Man. Yep. <laughs> you'll, you'll get there, gun. One day I'll be able to fire straight. Maybe it's uh, rapid firing that is affecting the accuracy. All I know is headshots are cool. They only do more damage, that is. Something I can do to make myself do more damage. It's always, always nice. But, huh. Well, this is practical. You're going all, uh, Edgar Allan Poe on this. I'm gonna run out of ammo on you guys, jeez. You, you got a lot of these things. I'm glad you don't have one stuttering one down there. She can be my friend. But none of these guys can. Because they don't want to talk to me. They just want to do whatever it is they do when they get really close to me. Hug, maybe? Hmm. Well, I don't want to hugs from them. They're all diseased and sick and stuff. Oop. Hello, miss. How oh, is that not a... Whoop. That was a headshot. Can we get headshots with... Uh, well, I got some ammo for this. It's glocking time. Are you more accurate? You sure are. And more powerful. I like my silly gun. Oh, how how did you even? Well, I guess it's L.A., but he sure has a lot of zombies, and so many of them were convinced about this. Oh, what about her friend of the girl down there? And your your organization is very weird, Night Circle man. Do you always jump through this hole on your way to get to your temple, or do you use the doors? Or is this even? Just a shortcut back. What what is even going on? Or this? Well, weak and easy to kill, but plentiful. There we go. Nope. Nope. Ah. There we go. That's right. We can aim in third person. We're breaking all the rules. It's worth wasting ammo just to stay in third person. Or is it? Oh! Probably isn't. Because the crosshair zooms in and tells us how accurate we are. Welcome, sister. I see you have been enlightened. Are you searching for something? Do you seek the truth? Well, you have come to the right place, sister. We've got more truth here than we can handle. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Anyone else creeped out by the noise of all the disease-ridden guys? Ah, the disease-ridden demagogue. <coughs> disease. Sister, you've got to open your mind. One man's disease is another man's sanctity. Here among the Brotherhood of the Ninth Circle, we have shared these earthly labels. Come, partake of our divine communion. Tell me your name, Plague Bearer. They call me Bishop Vic, Shepherd of the Damned, your midnight guide through our last days here on Earth. Do you feel it, sister? The curtain being drawn back at last, drawn back by my hand, by the Brotherhood of the Ninth Circle. Do your days also end with... Ge I don't... Ge Gehenna? Gehenna? Judgment Day? <coughs> the Apocalypse? Oh, again, sister. You are too indoctrinated into the antiquated beliefs of this material world. There is no rhyme or reason. No all-powerful and terrible gods who watch over their children. 
You talk of disease. What about the disease that you and I both carry? Our flesh remade into nothing more than an abomination, feeding on our brothers and sisters like so many cattle. What God watched over me when that demon tore into my neck and made me into this monster you see before you? No, sister. There is no God who would tolerate such a thing. And so I have become God. And the diseases I carry to the masses will bring about an end of my own making. Until we have all journeyed below into the ninth circle. So, you were diseased when you got turned, so then you're forever diseased and you're unhappy about it, so you went crazy. Your vision is more twisted than my own. Turn from this path, Dark Bishop. The time for words has come and gone, my sister. You and I will take those last steps together and see what truth lies behind the curtain. Let the night fall forever on this cursed earth, and let the fruits of my labor bring a long and bloody harvest. Can't we let words fight this battle? Oh my! Ow! And the door is locked behind me, conveniently. And my gun isn't in my hand. I want that back, please. I was just learning how to use these. Alright. I'll even crouch to aim better. Just take my time, killing all your little friends first. There we are. <laughs> are you just gonna stand there? Can I shoot through this? Nope. Solid walls, apparently. It's all here. Nope. Oh, maybe? Kinda? Not at all? Got it. Or am I just somehow missing? Then again, look at what I'm using. I'm surprised I'm missing with this thing. Even, with a st even if you stalk this. Oh well. Taking my time. Single shot it. There we are. Okay. Is that all your, your friends you brought to your club? Two, zero, fine. Ah, oh, you brought more. Um yep. Got one weapon that's good for this kind of stuff. Good against people with guns in their hands too. I do no damage to you. There we go. I'm just gonna shotgun to the face. No problem. I'm wearing a uh, stripper clothes, man. I got this. Hey, I had you cornered. Get out of. Why can't I run like that? I had to reload. Hey, no nope. corner. Uh, of course, you get infinite ammo with your gun. I will pepper you from a distance with this Uzi. We could be here for a while. Can I, can I snipe that one? Well, alright, let's, let's try some. It's not gonna work at all. Fine. Fine, can't say I didn't try. Well, it's hurt. Corner it again, please. I have no blood packs, I just realized. Oh, well, I got full blood. And that's, like, better than a full health bar. But you have so much health and armor. And I can't even stagger you. Can I, like, block your bolts with my katana? Like, cut them in half midair? Like I'm some ridiculous over-the-top Japanese game? Oh, can I interrupt you? No, I can't. Well, I can slowly slice you to bits. We'll get there eventually. Mr. Vic. Why are you so fast? Why do I... Why can't I fight? Well, I guess I am doing a bunch of quests that are combat heavy. The, like the entire plague bear chain. Ah, you can't open that door, can you? Trying to break the game. AI man. Oh. Almost got gotcha. you. I'm almost out of blood. Although, uh, you know, kids, don't try this tactic at home, I guess.
This is working out. Not not really. Just aim at the tiniest gap where I can hit him and he can't hit me. Until I run out of ammo. One one shot in this. That was a weird noise. Alright. I do need blood. Alright, it looks like he's going to the corner. Or not. Go reload. No. <sighs> he got me. Alright, well. We're going to have a rematch. Right now. Probably not, actually. I'm going to go ahead and end this video here. We'll pick up with round two of that fight. Thank you so much for watching. My sanity is off to you.